Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to be continuing off the Forgotten Staves of Calamity. So let's get started. The next quest we're doing is the Summoner's Scepter. Now, if you haven't seen my last two videos, I will put them or I'll put links to them in the top right corner. You can go and check those out. They'll also, one of them will be at the end of this video as well. And the first place we're going to be going is in Yokai Island. And you're going to be coming up to the place where the big dragon is, Yokai Cliffs. You're going to be talking to this person right here. And you need to run this challenge right here. And there we go. Got the angered thing. I actually soloed that to like 50%. I was trying to go in order of these, but I'm actually going to be skipping this one and going back to this one later. So the next one we're going to be doing is the powerful horn. And we're going to be jumping over to... Arkin Grove Forest. In Arkin Grove, just stay to the left. You're going to be getting to this little hut, and just beside the hut, you're going to be entering the Unicorn Glen. In here, you're going to be looking for the Brutal Corn Challenge. And there it is, right there. And this is the one that you got to go for right here. There we go. I got the powerful horn. Next location, you're heading to Darkovia to the Werewolf Coliseum. And you're going to be running the library dungeon right here. Just make sure when you get to this room in this area that you know what the numbers are. In case you don't know, it is 358. I have a guide on how to beat this dungeon rather quickly, so I'll put a link to that in the top right corner. You can go and check that out. Ghost of the General Fang. This is the boss that you want to take down in this dungeon and you'll be getting the scullery fang from him next location you're going to be heading is doomwood and you're heading back to the island of the dead and you're going to want to head into the tower of necromancy once here you're going to be going up the steps uh which is over here and you are going to be running the return of noxus now i've got to switch out Woo! Okay, so we got the poisoned skull, and the next thing is the tiny whirling wrappings, and those you can obtain in a place not available in your travel menu. You're going to be needing to go to your adventures, and at the very bottom, no, not at the very bottom, in, there we go, the hidden tomb of Sand Sea. We're going to be going there. Now, if you thought what you've been dealing with so far is difficult, then this next grind is going to be a whole lot more difficult. So what you're needing to do is to kill the boss right here. Now, there is a low spawn rate of the Magra, which is what you need. And unfortunately, it is a 1% spawn rate. So this is going to be very difficult to get him to spawn. Now, some people have been here for nine hours. Other people have been here for days. But then some people get it within 20 minutes. There are three different spawns in this location with, of course, the Magra being the least spawning mob. But once he finally spawns, you'll kill it and move on to the next and final task. For the next boss, is actually really easy, but it requires a lot of patience. To get there, you're going to be going to your adventure menu and you're going to be heading to the daily boss battle. Now, here's the tricky thing. This is the map that you need to get to. Now, as you know, every day the daily boss changes. With a wide selection of daily bosses, it makes it difficult for this particular map to spawn. But this is the map you need and this is the boss you need to kill. Upon killing this boss, you will be completing the quest. Once you've done that, head back to the Necronomicon. After turning in the quest, you're going to be having this item in the crafting shop. As you can see, the stats are actually really good. This is what the weapon looks like, and I gotta admit, that thing looks awesome. I farmed for the Magra several hours, and I just wasn't able to get it to spawn, but I wanted to get this video out. So for those of you who hadn't started this quest or were having trouble beating it, hopefully this video will help you guys out. I'd like to give a big shout out to all the people in the AEF who helped with this information. Big shout out to Hero and Umbrella who helped me with the filming of this video and to everybody who helped me farm. Though this video is finished, my quest is far from over. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. We shall see you guys in the next one. Thank you.